Hey guys, so today we are going to answer a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, what problem does frameworks such as React and Angular solve? So let's get into it. Now this is a great question and I think that I have in like over the course of my little hobby here so far answered this question in other videos in various various ways I suppose but the I've never actually explicitly answered that specific question. Now, the easiest way I can, can relay this is by stating that React, as an example, solves the SBA problem. And what is the SBA problem? The single page application problem. Well, the single page application problem is that you want to have a structured way of creating an application that feels like a native application. That's the problem. And that is all but impossible to solve without either an extensive knowledge of JavaScript or some, like, I'm just gonna say it, the only way I know of how to solve that problem is if you literally only have master JavaScript developers working on the code base, unless you're using an SBA framework. And it just so happens that mas the people who are true masters of JavaScript either don't use them for because they are masters or they are probably contributing to one of these frameworks themselves. Because that problem, the problem that I'm just stating here is that complicated. Now, for the juniors out there or the beginners, you may not think so much about this, but when you are using an, uh, like any web page, you may have noticed that if you click a link, the page refreshes and you get sent to, well, from your perspective, you basically click a link and then the page goes blank for a while and then the next thing happens on that page. That is a traditional web application. It is the way that the web was designed to work. But then you may or may not have used applications where you have different interfaces like buttons and si different things on a page where you expect to just be able to click it and then the content just magically updates. A classic example is something like a live chat or something like that where you have, or you I mean, you probably used one of these applications where you have some content like a flow information or updates or something like that, that just happens on the page without you actually getting moved anywhere. So you can think of it as when you're shopping for clothes or some products or something like that on a standard web page and you click the image that you want to enlarge or like you want to see that product, you are very accustomed to the experience. All right, you're going to be sent to that page. But if you're using something like Facebook or something like that, you are expecting to be able to just input a comment, then click and nothing changes. It should just magically show that, hey, you commented on this thing or you posted something, right? That is an SBA. That is the SBA problem. Because it used to be the case that you solved that problem from just using widgets. Like jQuery widgets were back, big back in the day. But as we require more and more of our applications and our, pro our products and the standards are like the requirements are just going higher and higher. Now people want to be able to use an application that feels completely native. And that is why it, what the problem that you get help with solving through something like React. Because it is extremely hard to manage an entire web application with de re like re-rendering elements, making sure that everything gets updated, or like the node trees in the DOM get updated correctly whenever you make a change, and think of all the different like differences in different browsers and all that good stuff. I mean, it's. Um, I have a small video series where I show you my like basically how I would do this or how I have done this in the past and I mean I'm even going to I, I'm even stating in that series that you should not do this for production code unless you know exactly what you're doing unless you need to do this because it is it is just very very hard to do so that is in essence the thing that you're getting from React and Angular and these frameworks they are giving you a structure, a structured way to produce an application that doesn't require page refreshes so that you can manage all of your state through JavaScript and Ajax. That is the thing that they are solving for you. So what I want you to take away from this is that 
SPA frameworks such as React, Angular, and so forth fundamentally give you the ability to create an application that should feel native. They give you an ability to get away from this whole go clicking on a link and then f refreshing the page, waiting a little while until the page refreshes and showing the new content and just allowing you to basically create an experience for your users that feels as if they're just using like any application they would expect on like a desktop or a mobile device where everything is switching and changing kind of in a very liquid manner. And the reason why you kind of want this framework to in place in order to do this effectively is because it's simply if the web was simply never designed to be able to do this in an effective manner and doing it without a framework is possible but it is, it, is, it is extremely hard if you know what you're doing you can do it it's not it's not completely impossible but i would strongly advise that you consider a framework unless you feel that you know exactly what you're doing have a great day